the last 24 hours, news came out that two churches are vanishing. American Saint Hill organization had a day o to serve as public during the day, and what they called night church. The night church service people who worked nine to five and could go in. And then Los Angeles Day and Los Angeles Foundation merged into one church. Now, what is the significance of them merging into one church? Well, I think the evening church was not sustainable. Not sustainable means can't pay bills, can't keep the lights on, not enough public. So let's make it just one church and shave off the additional church. But it really brought something into view on Los Angeles Day. There is a vital phrase in Office of Special Affairs, OSA Int, which is external influences. Mm. An external influence is someone outside the church affecting the mindset of someone strictly adherent to the doctrines and catechisms of L. Ron Hubbard. In fact, if you are my friend on Facebook and you are the friend of someone who is posted on Mike Rinder's blog, Marty's blog, Tony Ortega's blog, you have an external influence. An external influence is an influence. This is a, this is a very strong church label. It's not just some... It determines how much of a security risk you are. Just the fact that you can be on the phone to someone who has spoken out from the church, this makes you a threat. The church goes by how much threat you are. <laughs> the, whole, God. the whole thing is who's talking to who, and he's talking to him, and he could influence. You see, this is not a church that says, look at our websites. All right, go examine the other side. Go look at them. Make up your own mind. Look at both sides of the equation and you decide. It, no! Never look at that! Ooh! A website that whistleblows itself is an external influence. It's influencing you. It's making your mind think, wait a minute. Okay, what so, is going on? Okay, so what did external influences have to do with them closing two churches in Los Angeles? Okay, I'm glad you asked that. Los Angeles Day were not Sea Org staff. They've suddenly become Sea Org. Overnight, the CEO went in and took it over. Now, what's the difference between, in Scientology, what's the difference between Sea Org members and staff members? Okay. A staff member is someone who signs a five-year contract, two-and-a-half-year contract. He goes home. He, he, he doesn't live on campus. He's just a worker. And all the churches all around America, Cincinnati, Boston, Miami, Atlanta, whatever, these are just staff members. Sea Org sign the billion-year contract, live on campus, and are the worker bees that manage all churches of Scientology. They're what we call loosely the clergy. So why did the clergy, the seal, do something unheard of in the history of Scientology, which is go populate a class five org? External influences. You know what? Those Los Angeles Day staff could go home and read the internet. And they were eating in the same canteen. 
and all over the complex with Sea Org members. They were an external influence because the church cannot control what staff members do to go look at YouTube, to go look at the message board. You can't control it. Why? Staff members go home at night. They don't live in a complex where security confiscates all iPods, iPads, in, blocks all internet. You, class 5 orgs have staff that are reading the blogs, that are reading Tony Ortega's blog, that are reading Mike Rinder's blog, Marty's blog. And this is influencing how they think. Did I answer your question? Yes, you did. And so you're saying in order to enforce doctrinal purity in Los Angeles, they let all staff members go? Yes. Without penalty, it could just go. Never mind that they signed a five-year contract. They go home and read the web. They go home and watch TV. They go home and watch YouTube. And how can the church control? How well, can they control this? Well, they can't. They can't. But they can control CO members. Now, this would mean, then, that flag land base is all Sea Org. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what do you think will happen at regional orgs that are Class 5? Will they become Sea Org orgs as well? Who knows? Here, here's the thing. Not only do these staff, non-Sea Org staff, just five-year contract, two-and-a-half-year contract staff, not only do they go home and read it, they get people waltzing in the orb saying, Ah, I just watched Anderson Cooper, Scientology, A History of Violence. Ah, oh, I just looked at the truth rundown. Public are quacking. Public are talking. Even if the staff were being good little boys and girls not reading the internet, they're hearing the buzz. And the buzz is very much a concern for the church to control. The internet is here and you cannot unring the bell. Mm -hmm. 